I'm going to show you how to use Oxview to assemble and simulate this um, well linear actuator uh, from uh, Benson at all. So first of all go to Oxview uh, and select import. Make sure to select the slider. I have it already here. Um, you also have the rail. Uh, this is just a normal Cadano JSON file so make sure that the file format is correct uh, here and that the lattice type is hexagonal. Uh, you can leave this blank as I do here just to set a random scaffold sequence but if you have a specific sequence you want to try in your simulation then you can input it here and then just click import and wait for it to, to load the structure and here you can see the the loaded structure because of how Cadnano is uh, works you have these elongated uh, backbone bonds here um, since these helices uh, just have to be parallel with each other, we can make it a little bit easier to simulate by first enabling some rigid body dynamics. Uh, and this will make sure that these helices um, try to orient themselves uh, in a more logical manner. You can still see that the bonds are long here, but if we change the um, repulsion constant to something slightly lower, perhaps increase the spring constant a little bit. You can see that they are pull, pulled uh, together. You can have a relaxed length a little shorter. And then we have something, yeah, more or less uh, correct. Same goes for these here. Um, this will make sure that the forces are not too large uh, on the structures either. And then we we'll go to file and import also the rail. Uh, same settings here, set a sequence if you want. And there we have the slider as well. Um, same thing here, you have these uh, very long bonds here between the single strands and the, uh, the actual rail. So although the uh, slider is all really nicely threaded, let's select by system. Uh, we can of course slide it along uh, as we'd like, but let's for the moment just make sure to get it out of the way uh, so that we can select this cluster here uh, without these strands and then rotate to make sure that these backbone bonds are as close as possible. Okay, something like this is much better. Um, and then if we zoom out, we can select these others by box selection and then just translate them down, maybe a little bit to the side. To make sure that the forces are not too large. It's no big issue. Uh, either way, but it's easier to do it here than to wait for the simulation to equi equilibrate uh, properly. You can also rotate them if you if you really want to. Uh, we can select this cluster and we can rotate it along, trying to get it as close as possible. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really uh, affect the, the um, simulation too much so let's just do a reset of the camera and take this slider and select by system and move it back up to where we wanted it something like that if also we want to connect these single strands with uh, with the ones here to make sure it actually stays on the correct position as they did in the um, in the article we can use the edit tools um, and ligate uh, different ends together or create some extra duplex with whatever amount of bases you want and ligate that to both. You can use the extend tool to extend a duplex out of, uh, out of a specific new selected nucleotide um, if you select by monomers. But right now I think we will just, uh, for simplicity's sake, simulate this as it, as it is. So go to connect, connect to nanobase.org. Uh, if you want to, you can also use your own servers, uh, some local host 
running OxDNA in the background that will go, uh, go a lot faster. You can also use a Google Colab notebook as is detailed in our paper. Uh, but otherwise here just use the default settings for now and enable uh, the connection in between. If you go to the browser console you can see that uh, it already registered the simulation type as Monte Carlo. Um, we use this to make sure that there are no overlaps in between um, the backbone um, positions, so that, or well, the rigid body positions at all. Um, but there is still also this backbone force enabled, uh, so even though we have long, long backbones here, that will not explode or anything. Uh, so we'll run a few steps on CPU um, Monte Carlo, and then we'll go over to GPU to run uh, some. Uh, some molecular dynamics simulations. We'll just wait for a few moments for this to um, to start running. And there we have at least a thousand time steps and uh, energy seems to be at a good uh, amount so let's just uh, stop this CPU simulation and start with a molecular dynamics GPU version instead. We have at least 200,000 time steps, and I think if you want to, you can easily uh, disable the relax settings and continue to equilibrate everything, or you can just at this point download the OxDNA structures and run it uh, in an external simulation. Uh, at this point, it should be very relaxed and good to go. Um, so that's basically it, and thank you much for watching.